I know. I know it's like it's like fate or something. <laughs> Toby, you scared me to death. <laughs> Sorry, are you ready to go? My dad's taking me. It's three blocks away. I'll see you at school. <sighs> yeah, that was Toby outside. He's such a sweetheart. I'm so glad he's gonna be there. I can't believe we're doing this. My dad would kill me if he found out. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, hold on, uh, okay, come in. Hey, kiddo, got a sec? Um, yeah, uh, hey, I gotta go, Jamie. Yeah, I'll see you at school. Okay, bye. Oh, that's a lot of clothes for one weekend. It's my first sleepover. I figure better safe than sorry, right? I haven't seen you this excited in a long time. I'm just nervous, I guess. I don't have to go. I, I can call Jamie back right uh, now. No. We gotta stop burning that candle. But Lori is cut from the same cloth as your mother. Born to wander, your grandfather used to say. And, and I knew that as soon as she fell for these long-haired, free-loving types, she already had one foot out the door. Now, if she comes home, great. It'll be open arms and, and Thanksgiving dinners. But you've got to worry about you, too. So you're going to this dance, and you're going to go spend the weekend with Jamie like you planned. But you'll be all alone. Don't you worry about me. This weekend, just be 17, OK? OK. All right. Did you come in here just to give me a pep talk? Pretty much. I'll see you downstairs. Goddamn vandal. You may not respect authority, son. While you're on my campus, you will respect the institution placed here by the good people of Michigan. Let's go find the janitor. You look beautiful. You're just saying that because you're my dad. No, I'm saying that because it's the truth. Now get out of the car. I will be home Sunday before 60 minutes. Yeah, get out of here. <sighs> Look at that dress. You look amazing. Shut up, you do. I've never done this before. Sneaking out, lying to my dad ever since Lori left. I... Nuh uh. We are not telling sad stories this weekend. Happy thoughts. Right. Happy thoughts. <laughs> Sean and Adrian sitting in a tree. K I S S. Oh, stop! <laughs> We've just flirted. He probably does it with everyone. Not this weekend, he doesn't. I, I gotta go grab my bag. Okay, I'll meet you outside. I'm gonna get you laid. <laughs> okay, coast is clear. Man, I cannot believe I let y'all talk me into this, man. Oh, come on, what else are we gonna be doing this weekend, huh? I wasn't gonna be committing to felony, I know that. What do you think, Toby? Oh, if you ask me if I can get it started, the answer's hell yeah. All right, dude, then, come on. Big ass in there, man. Hey, quit shoving, all right? Hey, man, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye, all right? Hey, get, grab the bags. Don't you walk away from me, young lady. I didn't do anything. Maybe not yet, but you shouldn't be hanging around with those boys, and that outfit is unacceptable.
What are you doing out here? The dance is inside. What's the matter with what I'm wearing? Gotta get with the times, Mr. C. This isn't the same world your parents grew up in. You carry mace. ABP, that's my motto, always be prepared. When I was in the bush with the 101st, you can sure bet little Missy that we were prepared for anything. Because that was back in the day when men were men and women knew it. Don't look at me with those big, dumb cow eyes. Get right in there. Yeah. Get right in there. All right. Yeah. How's that? Good. Okay. Hey, man, come on. I thought you said you could start this thing. I built a working ham radio when I was 10, okay? I think I can start a bus. I don't see how those two things are related at all. Hey, man, if you get this thing started, I'll even talk to Marilyn for it. I've talked to Marilyn a million times, okay? <laughs> Homeboy, I'm talking about talking, all right? The kind you do without words. Hot, wet, filthy <laughs> conversation. Ah. Shut up and let me work, okay? Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Here we go. I'm talking about it. All right, here we go. Whoa. Buckle up. She's wearing what? I speak of a slut and she will appear. <laughs> Seen Johnny? Uh, not yet. The boy should be here any minute, though. Uh, maybe he's with Sean. That's a cute dress. It almost looks like you have boobs. Thanks. Is she for real? She's clueless. You see Marilyn? Marilyn will be here in a minute. She got cornered by Mr. C. Hmm. Did you hear that? Hear what? I just want to see what it is. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, you should have seen your stupid yeah, face. Real nice, Johnny. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right. The wheels. No way. Come on, Jamie. <laughs> Not bad. As if. Adrian, your chariot awaits, my lady. Oh, well, hold on. You did bring the key, right, scholarship? And you made arrangements. No overprotective daddy's gonna come looking for us, right? Yeah, it's all set. You just made the cool kids table. So you ready to break some rules? Sure. I, I mean, yeah, let's break some rules. <laughs> yeah. Who's missing? Let's get out of here before Mr. C realizes we're not inside. I'm getting all big brother in there. Hey, man. Something wrong? What if someone notices the bus is missing? Johnny's dad practically owns this town, OK? Nobody's going to press charges. Hey, would I let anything happen to you? No. That's my girl. Come on. <laughs> Goddamn turds went AWOL. They don't know who they're messing with. All right, campers. It is officially time to party hardy! Beer! <laughs>
Mãe. Alves. How much longer do you think? Based on the direction Adrian gave us, I'd say about another hour. It's hard to tell. It's only they littered this road with signs. Shit! What you mean? Yeah, we are so screwed. Fuck. Yep. Dry as a bone. It's a gas thing. The engine looks fine. We're out of gas? You mean to tell me we're stuck out here, Toby? Wes, Wes, hey, it's fine, man. We're going to be OK. Yo, don't look at me, OK? The gauge says half full. You guys picked the broken bus. I just started it. Hey, guys, where are the girls? Sean is so into you. <laughs> Told you I was going to get you laid. I don't know. Maybe. I, I mean, I don't really know how to kiss, let alone, you know. You don't know what you're missing out on. Don't be silly. It's easy and rad. Show you. No, <laughs> do it. Then when Sean kisses you, it won't be weird. It's weird now. Jamie's not afraid to do it. Are you, Jamie? Watch and learn. <laughs> just close your eyes, open your mouth, but just a bit. Then tilt your head and wait for it. <gasps> See? Easy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Shy, you scumbag! Nice tips! Get a life, will ya? You don't think he saw anything, do you? <laughs> Why would he do that? Johnny? Oh, man, I saw the girls changing and I scared the shit out of them. <laughs> Gotta love the classics. You dickheads get this thing rolling yet? Can't go anywhere until we find some gas. Well, that's Toby's department, right? You break the bus, you fix the bus. Come on. Ugh, oh, much better. Those heels are killing me. Man, I got a mosquito bite on my ass. You look great. Thanks. How very. Hey, John, get in the game. What are we doing? How far away are we from your cabin? I don't know. Oh, I guess they'll give anyone a scholarship, huh? Get bent, Johnny. Look, maybe we can send somebody down the road and see if there's anything nearby. Yeah, good idea. Hey, thanks for volunteering. What? Why me? Don't you know? The driver's always responsible for the passenger, Toby. Unless... You're too much of a pussy to go. This is so bogus. All by myself? I'll go. Really? Hey, there you go. Hit the road, loser. Give me the flashlight. May the force be with you, pal. Find help, I will.
Man, we are gonna be here the whole night. Why is everybody being so paranoid? There are houses everywhere. This is America. Okay, Tubby will find a phone and a rack of ribs and be back in a flash. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can get all the bags out and see what we got. All the same. What? Why do you think Marilyn went with lard ass anyway? Really? It's because Toby has all the weed. So, got any weed? You know it. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. It's lightweight. No, I mean, I'm sorry I got us into all this. Toby, chill. Shit happens, it's fate. What? Hey, you know, like we things are supposed to go down. I believe everything happens for a reason, even if we don't know what it is. Like us talking right now, I mean, if we hadn't decided to go to the cabin for the weekend, or if we hadn't picked that particular bus with the broken gauge, or if we hadn't run out of gas on that particular road, uh, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. You know, I'm really happy we have uh, sociology together. One class our last year and all. Me too. Remember that time Miss Williams handed us those worksheets? And when she handed you yours, she asked you what was wrong because your eyes were so red? Yeah. And then you, you said you were way too hot to be doing a worksheet. And that was hilarious. And she said something else, but I didn't hear. She said she told me to put my head down and not talk to anybody for the rest of the class. I think she thought it was contagious. <laughs> That was the first time I knew you were cool. Cool, like I smoke grass? No. You know, a cool guy. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Box of bugles, box of Pop Tarts, and some gum. That's it. Can we stop worrying and start drinking again? The beer's getting warmer by the minute. Hey, Heather, you got anything to eat in that big-ass bag of yours? Nothing. Nothing? Not even some Twinkies or something? You see, Heather here, she's a Twinkie junkie. Shut up! <laughs> I am not. Let me see. No, I just have personal items, you know, girl things. Great, let me see. Johnny, no, no. <gasps> What the fuck? <gasps> Precious, are you okay? I can't believe it. You brought your rat fucking dog? I knew you wouldn't let me bring her if I told you. Look. The dog's here now, okay, Johnny? You know what? Scholarship here's right. There's nothing we could do now. Eat it, maybe. Ugh. And you wonder why she hates you. It's okay, baby. I won't let the bad man hurt you. What about you, Johnny? <laughs> Dude, with cigarettes count? How many calories are in a cigarette? Ugh. Look, I bet Toby and Marilyn already found help and are on their way back. Got another joint? <laughs> Madame. Merci. <laughs> this bud is gnarly. Gnarliest. How far do you think we've gone? Who cares? We're on vacation. <laughs> yeah, life's a beach. What are you doing? Oh! He's still no, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide! Damn it. Who was that? Cool. Joe. This house. I was gonna tell everyone. Whoa, 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 wait. I mean, who knows who could live there? I mean, look at that place. Oh, uh, no one lives there. It's a dump. <sighs> kind of spooky, huh? <laughs> I think we've gone past spooky and straight to freaky. Come on, let's go tell the others. Come on. Hey, don't, don't make me tickle don't. you again. Okay, no, you stay right over there.
All right already, hold your horses. Vice Principal Frank Cunningham. We have a serious situation on our hands. You have a chance, bro. Hey. Everything okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Just you seem quiet back here. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong? Be honest with me. Okay. If my dad didn't have this hunting cabin, would you guys have wanted me along? Adrian, look. Sean, if I hadn't been your tutor and told you about the cabin, would I even be here? Look, Adrian. I think you're beautiful. Okay, the cabin was just some excuse to spend time with you. Really? Beautiful. Yeah. Thought so ever since we had homeroom together. <laughs> I mean, it's like you got this whole other gear. At first, you're in semis, couldn't nobody touch you. And then you sprained your ankle and still ran in the finals? That's badass, girl. <laughs> it's a breathing thing. I mean, the pain just kind of fades away if you focus on your breath. Yeah. I'll tell you what I've been focusing on. Here it comes. No, come on, look, don't be so quick to judge. I was just gonna say that maybe you and I can find some time to ourselves once we get into the cabin. Me and you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Where it gets around, Wes. Rumor is you're a little bit of a dog. Oh, come on. That hurt. <laughs> really. Focus on the breathing. Hey, look. What is it? Someone's there. Where? I don't see anything. Outside. Listen. You hear that? Kill, kill the music. I'm scared. Guys, don't lie. She was on the bus with those miscreants. Well, let's get to the bottom of this right now. Hi, Rona. This is Norman, Adrian's father. Why would Jamie be here? I didn't, I, I thought she... Never mind what I thought. I'll call you back. She'll be fine. What I don't know is where they might be going. I swear to you, Mr. Cunningham, she didn't tell me anything about this. I'm sure she did not. 
I don't understand. She usually makes such good choices. It's a shame that a student that shows as much promise as Adrian would associate with these hooligans. Mr. Cunningham, she needs this school. Be unfortunate if she did anything to jeopardize that. Could be disastrous for her future. I need some coffee. What do you say we Irish that up a little? Sounds good. I think I know where they went. What are the coordinates? I don't think anybody lives in this shithole, do you? Well, maybe a squatter or something. Who knows out here? Only one way to find out. Hey guys, I'm not too sure about this. You scared? <laughs> Hello? Hello, anyone home? See? No problem. <laughs> Baby, are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Shut up! This fucking house is a death trap. This place is so grody. Yeah, it's like better hillbilly homes and gardens. <laughs> I don't know. Some fresh curtains, new coat of paint, and it would be really just. Awful. Uh, electricity's out. Hey, it's dead. Oh, get it out of here! What do you think did that? A possum, maybe? Oh my god, there are possums here? I think we can rule out the possum theory. I don't know. You're just a drifter just passing through? Now you're Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Good one, baby. Either way, it doesn't look like anyone's actually lived here in a long time. I mean, my guess is we're alone, but maybe we should stay in pairs, you know? This place is big. Creepy, too. Ugh. Okay, let's see if there's anything we can scrounge up. I mean, phone's probably too much to ask, but maybe some candles or a flashlight? Split up and look around. Me and Heather check the bedrooms. Perhaps you'll find Heather's lost virginity. <laughs> <laughs> you know I could literally crush you, right? Johnny, easy. Okay, Wes, Jamie, see if you can salvage anything in those last two rooms. Adrian, you and I will check the kitchen. What about me and Marilyn? Well, I mean, someone has to take a look into the barn, and you're the only one with the other flashlight. I think I saw a tractor on the way up. Maybe there's some gas up there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, I guess that's cool. Okay, all right, let's go. I don't think it's been since someone lived here. Ugh, how should I know? Sorry. It's just trying to make conversation. All right. You guys take left, we'll take right. Bro. 
house. Well, it's disgusting in here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on. I saw you looking at her. What? Marilyn. Slut. Yeah, okay, I noticed her, babe, but... My girl, you know? Why are you always so mean to me? I don't know. But you're right. I'm trying to be better. Come on. Oh, you saved the day. <laughs> Watch your step. Holy shit. Look at this place. Must have been a slaughterhouse. Just when you think this place can't get any more charming, boom, and abattoir. Abattoir? Slaughterhouse. Oh. So, other barn? Definitely, other barn. Man, what do you think this is all about? I have no clue. Oh. This is nuts. <laughs> Good thing I was here. Yeah. It's caught me off guard, that's all. Let's get up out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Car equals gas. Bingo. And it's empty. But fear not, I have something for our dynamic duo. My hero. Do you want a cigarette? <laughs> no thanks. That stuff's poison. What we got here, huh? Sweet. <laughs> like, I know. I know this isn't the time or place, but. I really like you. I like you too. Yeah.
That was nice. <laughs> it was. What was that? I don't know, it must have come from downstairs here. Oh, presto. <laughs> oh, well, it's very rustic. Uh, I don't like it. Can you please close it? Oh, come on, there's nothing to be scared of. Here, look for yourself. It's okay. See? No boogeyman. Shitty. Not exactly the vacation we had in mind. So I guess you're probably uh, going off to college in the fall? Not sure yet. What about you? I'll probably just end up working for my dad. But, you know, if you don't go, it means we could, uh, you know, hang out more. <laughs> we hang out almost every weekend at the arcade. No, I know we, uh, we, we do, but it's, um, we're always with the gang, you know, it's never, uh, it's never just us. I can't understand how someone who smokes as much weed as you do can have bad eyes. I mean, is this supposed to be good for you or something? Like carrots? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. No, what I meant was, you know, maybe this weekend will give us a chance to spend some real time together, you know? Just you and me. That'd be great. Oh, you think? Sure. I have to warn you, though, I may need some advice. Uh-huh, about what? Well, okay. <laughs> what do you think about Wesley? Oh, he's a cool guy and, uh, you know, Wait, what about him? He's just so, I don't know, <laughs> exotic or something, yeah? Because he's black. No, that's not it. Has he ever mentioned me? Actually, I think he likes Jamie. I could get him if I wanted. No, I mean, of course you could, I mean, you're beautiful and, and cool, too. I mean, Marilyn, you could have any guy you wanted. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> One day, you're going to find the most awesome girl. This place is so gross. Hey, come on. Right? Just pretend you're outside by a pretty lake. Use your imagination. I'm not screwing on the side. Who said anything about screwing? <laughs> My turn next, though. Hey, Scout's honor, baby. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Jesus! What? What's wrong? Too much tea? What was that? 
sound like somebody screaming. Should we go check it out? Okay, yeah, you go. I'm just gonna find my glass. I'll be right behind you. Hurry, Toby. <sighs> smooth, Toby. Very smooth. Damn it. Oh, thank God. Ooh. What happened? Oh my God. Tell me about it. What the fuck is that, Johnny? John and... This must have taken hours. Hey, man, look, if you want to stay here and play Psycho Art Appreciation, you be my guest. I mean, I'm trying to get the hell up out of here. Who's with me? Some of these are human. Oh, Jesus. Oh, please, no. Okay, if someone comes through the store, we jump them. Can't hurt all of us. Maybe none of us if we can tackle them, okay? Johnny, kill the light. Now! Get off me! What the hell are you people doing? Yeah, sorry. We thought you was someone else. Who else would I be? Jesus. Is that made from people? Oh, shit. Guys, I think I know who we are. I think I heard about this place. What are you talking about? The name on the mailbox. You telling me you guys ain't never heard of the Jodes? Junior Jode and his psycho family? Yeah. No, no, that story's bullshit. Well, what story? They were killers. Not just killers. Right. Cannibals. The rumor said they become wild animals, feeding off the local wildlife and anything or anyone who came along. Police showed up. They killed a family. Supposedly, they found parts of like 30 people. Parts? Yeah. That isn't real. It's just a story to scare kids. Is it? I think this was my sister's. I gave this to her. No way. No fucking way. No, how? She ran away. Guys, where's Toby? He dropped his glasses in the bar and he's still... Toby? You really think that's hers? Your sister's, I mean. Do you remember what we talked about in anthropology? How cannibals believe they take power from the people they eat? Adrian. You don't think they take their souls, do you? What if Lori's trapped? What if she can't go where she's supposed to be? Look, she is not trapped anywhere, okay? If she died here, hey, if she died here, she's in heaven now, okay? I promise. Wait, wait, what if Toby's not in the barn? Then we go. Fuck Toby. You're an asshole, you know that? Nice. Look, Johnny's right. If Toby's not in the barn, then we keep moving. Get to the road, get back to the bus. Fucking A. And just leave him? Man, that is messed up. Look, if something has happened to Toby, then the best thing we can do for him is get help. Best case, he'll meet us back at the bus. Yeah, worst case? Well, we all heard that, right? Oh, God. Okay, okay. Everyone chill. Okay, that's not gonna come from anywhere. That's Toby. That's Toby. I know it is. Oh, where are you going? Let me go. We have to help him. No, Marilyn, wait. Everybody, wait. We gotta be smart about this. Okay. Johnny, you come with me. Wes, stay here with the girls.
All right, let's go play. I think the sound came from over there. Fuck me. Okay, we gotta get the girls out of here. Come on. Wait, what are you two doing? No, sir. Stay back, guys, stay back! No! Tell me! Tell me! Come on, man. go! Go! No, 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 Chosen with a buffet, man. Why the hell did we come back here? I was following him. Tony's gonna die too if we don't help him, okay? What are you guys waiting for? We have to go help him. No, no, fuck that. Are you people blind? The killer's using Toby as bait. My best friend is dead. Please let this not be happening. Well, it's happening, okay? Look, we can all talk about how fucked up it is later. But right now, we need to start figuring out a way to get out of here alive. Someone will see the bus, right? They'll come looking for us. So we're just gonna wait here? I don't want to be eaten by a cannonball. It's cannibal, goddammit! That's what I said! Nobody's gonna get eaten, okay? We're gonna stay here, stay smart, and make it until morning. And then we'll make a break for it. Not tonight, it's too risky. Risky than waiting around here for that psycho to show back up. What do you think you're gonna do with that? I figured if that motherfucker comes near me, I'm gonna introduce this to his skull. Yeah, what's this right? Let's all grab something. Let's mess him up. That make you feel better? A little bit, yeah. So what's the plan? Okay. Jamie, Marilyn and I will secure the downstairs. Wes, you take the upstairs. Johnny, Heather, secure the main floor. If someone comes through that front door, we should hear it. Come on. Think of this as our Alamo, okay? This must head outside. If someone comes in upstairs, we get down here, get to the yard, and back to the bus, okay?
slow down. Where's Sean? He's in the cellar. We have to go. Sean? Him, the killer, you idiot! He killed Sean. Are you sure? Of course we're fucking sure! Screw this. No, get the fuck off me! I'm gonna kill this fucking freaking no! We gotta go, man. We have to get back to the bus! And then what? So we can find us there, too? No, let's do this now! Maybe he won't follow us there, Johnny. Maybe he won't go that far. Yeah, and maybe he will. Johnny, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man! Fine. Let's go! All right, once we get outside, we haul ass. You hear me? Back door! Let me get the frick! Go, go! Come on! This way! Where the hell are we going? I don't know. We have to keep moving. We have to help him. He's still alive. What's he saying? Kill me. Look! All right, we can take care of this cycle right now. You good? No, oh, fuck this. Run! Out there somewhere. It sounded pretty far away. I said, "We make a move." I don't know. Well, I do. I've been following people around all night. And so far, it's gotten three of us killed. I don't want to be next to you. No. Good. Oh, come on. I'm gonna find out where that motherfucker is, and as soon as we know he ain't coming, we run like hell. You got it? I don't want to go out there. He's going to get us with. We're going to be fine. Look, we'll go out the back door. It's close to the road. Be careful. Be quiet. All right, we're all clear over here. It 
What is this Shh. place? Keep quiet. Follow me. Okay. We're not out in the open, are we? Okay. We just need a place to hold up for the night. It's gonna be okay, Precious. Come out of anywhere. I want to die, Johnny. Me neither. Okay, I'm gonna take care of you. We need to keep that thing quiet. Stay close. are gonna pay. Joyriding delinquents. Shh. We have to keep still. This thing creaks and moans like an old woman. Hey, 
I mean it. What book do you think that we are getting to stand that? What are you doing? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> make a break for it. I can track the VC in the rainy season. I can damn sure find these brats. survive. You okay? We're all that's left. How can you know that? Wesley. <laughs> I heard his eye pop, Jamie. When the glass hit it, I heard it pop. It was horrible. It's gonna be okay, man. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. We're gonna die here. <laughs> By the time anyone finds us, we'll be dead. <laughs> You're cold. Sweating too. Look, Marilyn, focus on what I'm saying. You're going into shock, that's all. You're gonna be all right. But you have to stay focused, okay? Okay. I mean it, Marilyn. You have to stay with me. I will. I it's just need to sit down. No. I just, you have to stay up, otherwise you're just gonna pass out. I can't drag you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Give me a second to find something to fight back with. I got him pretty good with the rock back there. I think he may be the devil, Jamie. I don't know. He must be a demon from hell or something. I looked into his eyes. What we need to worry about right now is getting back to the bus. It's hopeless. It's over now. What do you think? I think it's fate.
Hello? Who is that, Adrian? Here! I'm over here! Mr. C, we have to go. Jamie, you and your friends are in some trouble. Fuck you your trouble! Jamie, don't you talk to me like that. They're dead. They're all dead. Who? All of them. What? How? This guy killed them all. We have to go. We leave no man left behind. Now stand down and tell me where they are. You don't understand. We have to get out of here now. Are they in there? Are they in the house? Where are they? Come on. Ah! Ah! Amy, get in the house. Close the door and don't come out until I say so. No, no. He'll get you. You have to come inside. He's just a man. A man is going to have to get through me to get to one of my kids. Now stay in there. All right. I'm no teenager. I was in the NOM, you sick fuck. And I got chunks of guys like you in my stool. Come on, you commie pinko fag bastard. I've killed more men than you could possibly imagine. One more is fine with me. Hanoi chain piece of shit!
Hey, you okay, mister? Hey, what the f... Hey, you stay right there, I will shoot. I mean it! Shoot! Son of a bitch! Hell of a mess, Sheriff. I've never seen nothing like it. Junior Jude. And that's one bad penny I never thought I'd have to see again. people were with you? Seven. They're all dead. But where are they? Where are your friends? The house. The house on the hill. Okay, look. Get some rest. You folks, they're going to take real good care of you. And then I'll come back in a little while. I'll check up on you, all right? You're gonna be okay. You'll be okay. What is it? She said something that shook you up pretty good. You hadn't even joined the force when we had our troubles. You gonna keep me in the dark, Sheriff, or is this some type of ghost story? It's worse. It's a lot worse. The Jodes. They never came to town at the end. Some people thought they'd picked up and moved off, and we started getting the calls. Somebody's kid went missing, and then somebody's wife, somebody's husband. Me and a couple of boys, we went up there. Emmett Jones, this is your last chance. Sheriff, we're gonna eat you alive. Killed every last one of them, or so we thought, until today. Junior must have been up here hunting by himself for a long time. Thank you.